Welcome everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor, back today with another amazing geometry node. And this time we're looking at hay or thatch roofs, those things that are really, really difficult to actually achieve that realistic look. But we've created a geometry node where it's simply one click, literally one click and you can have hay on your actual roof. No simulations, no particle systems, nothing like that. Straight out of the bat, it's going to work for any of your, you know, Viking type scenes or medieval era theme buildings. All right, so this is what you'll get with the actual download pack. So at the moment I've got it in cycles just to show you actually what it's going to look like. And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to get this actual look and what we can do with it because there's actually two geometry nodes in with this and I'll show you how they both work. So here you can see I've created actually two roofs and then one hay bale. Now, what you can do is you can actually put this on material and you will see within the actual geometry download pack will be two materials as well, or two shaders for you to actually use to test this out. You can even use them in your own projects if you want to. So the first one is our wooden uh, shader, which looks like this. And if we put this onto our actual render, you can see it's a pretty nice shader straight off the bat. And then the next one is our hay. So you could use this as well on the roof if you want to. So enough of all that though, let me actually show you what you can actually do with this. So let's go back to object mode for now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to this roof first actually. So you can see all of this roof is joined. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reset all your transforms. Very important that you do that. So let's reset all transforms, origin to geometry. And then all we're gonna do is come over here, add modifier, Geometry node, click the down bar arrow, and all we want to bring in is hay. Click that on, and there you go. It's as simple as that. Let's put it on render. Let's have a look what that looks like. Double tap the A, and there you go, a hay roof. Just puts it on wherever you need it to go on. Now from here, what you can do is, we've got all of these little um, things that we can actually do on the right hand side, but I did say it's a one click solution, and it really, really is. Now, the other great thing about this geometry node is, I can put this down to let's say 2000 and this means we can actually work in the viewport as long as we turn down the density. Now I'm just going to turn this up a little bit just so I can show you what I want to show you. Now at the moment you can see that we have gravity on one and basically how gravity works if I turn this on to zero let's put this then on material mode just so we can see what we're doing or even object mode that'll be a bit easier. You can see now that all of the actual hay points skywards and the amount that you turn the gravity to is the amount it's actually going to drop down. So it's all based on gravity, which makes it really, really easy to use. The other thing is at the moment, we've got rotation on random at 0.5. If I turn this to zero, you'll see it's all becomes really, really nice and straight now. Let's just put it onto zero like so. And now let's turn this gravity down, let's say to uh, 0.8. Let's turn it down to 0.8 and you'll see we end up with something like this. And now let's come in with a random rotation and just rotate these all around however I want them. I can have them really, really nice and straight if I want them like so. So you can see they're all pointing really, really straight now. And then I can actually put it on something like 0.6 and have them sticking out everywhere. Let's put it onto our rendered view. And again, you can see how quickly that loads up because we've got a viewport density on there. We can also turn up the noise scale. In other words, if you want your hay to be a lot more broken, for instance, or have that look as though it's been sat in a, uh, you know, a horse trough, there's many, many things you can do with it. Also as well, what we're able to do with this hay, you can see at the moment this hay is rather thin. I can actually come down to the radius and put this on 0.00. .00 five let's say and really really increase the thickness so now we can go on to rendered view and you can see exactly what that does really really increase that thickness which means that you can actually change the material on here and have it on you can see where the material button is here and have it on something like grass and then it'll look like a thatch roof with grass on instead of hay so there's so many applications you can use with this straight off the bat but it does get better than that not only can you uh, decrease the narrow so as it gets uh, further up you can see we can bring down how narrow it is towards the end of the tips now the hay roof is all good in that, but how practical is it if you want something else? So if you want a stable, for instance, or if you want a hay bale, well, actually we've made it so it's very, very practical. So let me show you what I mean. So if I come to this plane here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first of all bring in a curve. So Shift S, Curse to Selected, Shift A, let's bring in a curve and we'll bring in a path like so. And you can see over here on the right hand side, we've got NURBS path. And all I wanna do is press tab to go into edit mode, press delete, 
and vertices. And from now, my nerds path is still there. What I can do now is come over to the left hand side and you'll see one that says draw and we want to draw on our surface. So now if I go over the top like so, I can actually draw on hay. As long as I come over to the right hand side, add in geometry node and let's bring in hay roof. And there we go. Let's also give it a material so we can actually see what we're doing. So here we go and here is our hay. And what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to turn up the resolution again. So 0.003, let's turn that up like so. And now you'll see wherever I draw this, we can actually draw on more and more hay. Let's also turn up the viewpoint count to 6,000. And there we go. We can draw wherever we want to have our hay. Let's say we want it around here. And we can also freely as well come in and turn the rotation up so we can have it really, really stuck out everywhere. So this is great if you've got a stable or you want to have a horse trough or something like that where you need to draw in some hay like so we can just keep drawing it in to wherever we want it like so and as much as we want so you can see really really nice really really handy to use what's more if i actually just uh, come in grab them all delete those so delete vertices i can also draw in some hay the same way as what i did but i can also come in and actually move my hay as well. So if I press G, I'm actually free to move it around and shape it wherever I want it. Now, what about if you've got a hay bale? Well, you can see you can already use this for your hay bale if you want to, or you can simply just delete this out of the way, bring in an actual uh, mesh, bring in a cylinder. Let's uh, spin it round, so R, Y, 90. Let's make it a little bit smaller so we can see what we're doing. Let's press Control A, all transforms. And now we're gonna do add geometry node and let's bring in our hay simple as that easy to use let's also give this then that material that we made which is hay put that on there and there you go so easy to use now i recommend if you're making a hay bale by the way you will get a line obviously on there where the actual gravity is actually splitting it so all i recommend you do just come in grab this face and this face split them off so p selection and then go back to your hay bale and all you can actually do is just rotate it around on the x like so and there we go one hay bale as easy as that again we can come in and mess around with all of these again and we can also come in let's actually go there because we haven't done that yet let's actually increase the length like so and there we go let's also come in and what we'll also do is increase the uh, randomness so let's increase the randomness let's also increase the uh, displacement now so the noise let's turn it up increase the displacement like so and there we go we can do some really really amazing things with it as you can see all right everyone so i hope you really enjoyed this one all of the links to our geometry nodes will be down below we have tons and tons of geometry nodes we're aiming to bring out at least one per week at the moment of course if you want to join our patreon you will get not only all of our geometry nodes for free but you'll also get access to all of our courses for free as well and don't forget our Victorian era scene is actually now available for pre-order, so you'll be able to find the links down below as well to that. All right, everyone, so I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.